Welcome to the Wata channel. In this video, we will be dissecting a crab. Let's take a look first at its external anatomy. Measure the size and weight of the sample animal first before dissecting. One of the characteristics of crustaceans is that they have two pairs of antenna. In this animal, what we see is that we have one antenna here, which is the antennae. And the second antennae, or simply called or known as antennae, is right here. Both the antennules and the antennae functions as sensory organ of the crab. Another characteristic of crabs are their compound eyes on stalks. Something really interesting is these stalks have muscles. The crab can pull its eyes down between the dorsal and ventral layers or plates of the exoskeleton to have additional protection. This large structure up here is the carapace of the cephalothorax. The head and the thorax in these animals are fused together into a single large tagma. The other thing that we can see from this perspective are the appendages. There are five pairs of appendages. This makes the crab a decapod, which means having ten legs. These appendages are called periopods. The periopod one is called the caliped which is armed with a large pinching claw. This structure up here usually does the crushing of prey or food particles into pieces. This part up here is called the manus or propodus. Manus means hand. We have also this part that is able to articulate and can pinch down, which is the dactyl. Something interesting about this part is that the teeth of the claw are rounded and these rounded bumps on this are designed for crushing. If you look at the teeth on the other claw, you can see that they are not rounded but are sharper instead. This is the cutting claw. Most crabs have typically one crushing claw and one cutting claw. Again, we have the caliped with the manus or propodus and the dactyl. Now, periopods 2, 3, and 4 are referred to as walking appendages. They terminate in these spike-like articles and they use those for grip and pushing and moving along the bottom. Periopod 5, however, is a swimming leg. And if you notice, the last couple articles of the leg are flattened and actually have relatively abundant amounts of setae coming off them. So what these animals do is they will alternatingly beat one swimming leg up and then the other one and alternating back and forth like this. And as they do that rapidly, they are able to push themselves wobbling through the water as they go. That is how these animals swim. And that is the dorsal anatomy of the crab. Let us start up here on the anterior end. Again, we can see the compound eyes on the stalk, antennae, and antennules. Let's flip the crab over and take a look at what we can see on the undersurface or ventral side of the crab. The mouth is a square median in position on the ventral side of the cephalothorax at its anterior border, guarded by two jaws. And then, these structures are attached to the structure called the third maxillipeds. Maxillipeds are appendages that cover the mandible and are used to help facilitate feeding. They use periopod 1 or their calipeds for grasping, crushing, and cutting food. After it has been cut into little bits and pieces, here is the first maxillipeds. The structure here, a very hard structure, are the mandibles. If maxillipeds are Push back on the other side, we can uncover the mandibles. The mandibles crush side to side 
as opposed to the human jaw, which crushes and chews up and down. These are the plates of the sternum, which make up the ventral exoskeleton of the cephalothorax. And you can see there are individual plates that are fused together to make up this structure. Now, in addition to the cephalothorax, these animals do have an abdomen, and the abdomen is wrapped around underneath, which is this structure. You can also determine the sex of the crabs through the shape of the abdomen. All male crabs have a relatively long, thin abdomen. A female crab would have an abdomen that is more rounded and much broader. When a female crab lays eggs, they will hold and brood them as a large mass of eggs called a sponge of eggs that will be held in place. When you pull the abdomen out and open, the structures inside are exposed. In male crabs, an appendage called swimmerets can be found in the abdomen. These long swimmerets are used to transfer packets of sperm that have produced into female reproductive openings. The female crab can use the sperm to fertilize its eggs. The male reproductive openings are up here, these little dots or holes down to the tip of the abdomen are called genital pores, located here at the base of the fifth walking legs. The very tip down the abdomen is the anus. That's it for the external anatomy of the crab. For the part 2 of this episode, we will learn about its internal anatomy. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!